Well, today we're going to depart from our normal homily to give, um, to share with you our parish strategic plan that we've been working on. So if I could have the ushers bring these to hand them out. And just to give you some background on this, um, it, it began about a year and a half ago when after a few years of being here, I thought, what else could we do? And how can we discern what's next for our parish? And then Bishop Kimmy came in December of 2021 and he talked about the pastoral plan of the diocese. And then last spring, if you recall, um, we took a survey for the parish and we received those results. And over the past several months, the pastoral council has been looking at those things and coming up with a plan. So just also to tell you who's on the parish council, the parish pastoral council, uh, Tyler Meyer is the chairman and Sarah Dodge is the secretary. We also have Travis Rebel, Rob Eskew, and Betty Roberts, and also uh, Joel Arnold as the principal. And so all of us together worked to create this plan, which I would like to share with you. And um, as you're receiving this, we'll look at the, the first thing that's on there, which is the parish mission statement. This is something that we began to create several years ago, and we've just kind of revised over the past couple years and I just want to read it to you and explain it it's a little lengthy it's not something that you'll exactly memorize but it's something that we can look at and say this is what we want to do as Christian disciples we seek to love Jesus and make him love and I think that is the summary of everything that we're trying to do that comes from Saint Therese of Lisieux the little flower to love Jesus and to make him love that's what our parish is all about how do we do that and that's what the rest of it is through the celebration of the Eucharist. The most important thing that we do here in the parish is celebrate the sacraments. On Sunday, we gather for the Mass, the Holy Mass. Um, all of these things are the crucial points of our parish. We also teach Jesus' saving doctrine. Faith comes from what is heard, and so we have to gather to um, be formed and to learn the Word of God and what Christ expects of us one of the ways that we do that, of course, is through our parish school, which um, is an important apostolate of our parish. Also through the works of charity. So this means the corporal and spiritual works of mercy performed uh, in the name of Christ. And finally, a service of excellence to our community. That was the most recent thing that we added on because we want to make it clear, first of all, that we're not looking for mediocrity, right? We are looking for act excellence absolute excellence and we are meant to serve our community not just the people of our parish but all the people that are in our area and as i've said before you know we have more people and more vitality than than the other um, churches in our area and so we are the ones that are like the leaders of the christian community and it's our task to live up to that last week we heard about a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden that should be us where other people look to us and say they're doing something great and also i would like to be a part of what they're doing and we should strive for excellence in, in many different ways so the the question shouldn't be well, what have we done in the past the past is great and we can thank god for that but the question that we should really have is what is possible for our parish community you know, we have geographic boundaries that our parish is set by, and we have lots of people that live within those boundaries. We need to say, this is our mission field. What is possible here? And so we're not trying to just to be uh, below average or average or a little above average. We want to seek for perfection. That's what Jesus told us in the gospel today. All of us are be called to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect, and our community is called to be as perfect as we can possibly make it. And so we are trying to strive for excellence. The Christian motto should be like, aim higher, right? Aim higher, that's what we wanna do. So we have the strategic plan to put the mission into action. And you can follow along as I read through these. That way you can um, see what I'm saying and it can give you a sense of hope that this is about to come to an end. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking at some point. Um, and so there's three uh, priorities and these three priorities come from the bishop's pastoral plan for the diocese. 
evangelization, which means spreading the faith, stewardship, which is living the faith, and the last one is reclaiming Sunday as the Lord's Day, which is a part of living our faith. And then underneath those three priorities, we have five goals. And so we'll just read through these. The first priority is evangelization, and the first goal is to broaden outreach to our parish and community. We know that there are people in our parish um, that we are not reaching currently. You know, there are many people that after the COVID lockdown, you know, it broke their habit of coming to Sunday Mass, and sad to say, some have never returned. There are also other people out there that have become inactive or fallen away from the practice of their faith, and we want to go out and reach them and listen and say, what's going on? How can we help you? And then to invite them back and say, you know, we really miss you here at the parish. We are concerned about your spiritual good, and you can come home, and we are glad to welcome you back. So we want to do that. We also want to make a communication plan. So obviously we are bombarded by information these days. We want to see how can our parish communicate effectively and well. And then the final strategy there is to establish a Society of St. Vincent de Paul. And this is pretty much done, but we are still in the initial phases of beginning to serve the community. This group is to serve as practical charity to the community at large. The second goal under evangelization is to strengthen youth ministry. Of course, the future of our parish depends on our youth and our handing on the faith to them. So it's very crucial that we do this. So some of the things that we need to do is organize a little bit better, maybe have a coordinator position for some of these ministries. And then we also want to support our existing programs. I think one of the greatest things that, uh, greatest successes that we've had in the last several years is our Catechesis of the Good Shepherd program, which is a formation program for children ages three through 12. We do it within the school. We also have it outside the school for those who are homeschooled or that go to a public school. And so we need to strengthen that. And then also to determine what needs aren't being met in our youth ministry and how can we accomplish those things. So we have several ideas there. On the back side, the second priority is stewardship. And stewardship, as I said, means recognizing that God has given us all these gifts and that we need to share them out of love for him and for love of each other. And so trying to revitalize parish stewardship and spread the message and invite people to live this deeper in their life. And by, we want to do that by reforming the parish stewardship council. And then the second goal there is stabilize parish operations. You know, on the outside, things are pretty good. And they are good, but we can always do better. And one of the ways we can do better is by having a clear budget and trying to have transparent reporting. That's something that came up in our survey last year. Then we also noticed the survey, and everyone can tell, that there is deferred maintenance on the, uh, the parish church. And we want to create a plan to begin that. And we have started, and I want to thank everyone who's been a part of that. And then finally, the last strategy there is to found a school endowment. An endowment is, is a tool that we can use to ensure the long-term viability and financial um, stability of our school. And it won't replace stewardship, but it'll be a means in which we can use. So we can invite people to make a gift from their estates, or maybe there's like alumni that live away from here and they want to support our school, they can give to that. And that would help um, for the future. Our parish school has been here for 93 years, and we hope that it will be here for at least that much longer. Okay, the last priority is reclaiming Sunday. So making Sunday really the Lord's Day. And the goal here is to enhance our experience of Sunday Mass by training and forming uh, ministries and also building up our music ministry um, by reforming the choir and inviting people to, uh, to share their talents. Today, thank God, we've got our um, school choir with us. They always do a great job helps us to worship at Mass. And then finally, increasing Mass attendance. So as I've said, you know, Mass is always better when more people are there to worship God. I mean, the Mass is always the same, whether it's just three people or 300 people. But when we're all together praying with one heart, we receive more blessings because of the experience of being all together. So I hope you'll take this home and uh, look at it a little bit more closely. If you have feedback,
for me or the parish pastoral council, please let us know. I'd also like to invite people to look at this and say, where can I serve? How can I help in the parish? When we presented this to the leadership of the parish, several people asked this question, where are we going to find enough volunteers to make this possible? Yes. Where are we going to find people that we can do this? You know, we already have a core group of volunteers, and God bless them. They really work their tail off, and they're a little over, overburdened. So we want to spread the opportunities out to everyone. So if you feel it in your heart that God is calling you to something here, please approach us. We'll help you, or if we can help you find a place in this plan. Or if there's other things you want to do, we are glad to hear that. And, um, you know, if we're generous with God, he will be generous with us in return. And he'll always give us what we need to carry out the task at hand. Finally, again, we have a little piece of art over here, but I promise this time I didn't buy this one. Um, this came from the Knights of Columbus. There are several of these traveling all throughout the United States. Um, it started a couple years ago, and this is the last year. And so this one's in our area, and it's at our parish this weekend. It was blessed by Pope Francis, and it will continue on after Mass today to go. I think it's going to Pratt. And so um, since it's here, I thought, well, this is a good opportunity for us to ask St. Joseph to um, intercede for us and help us to accomplish our plan. You know, St. Joseph, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the foster father of Jesus, was the head of the Holy Family who provided and protected and cared for those two, two of God's most precious gifts. And so the church has always seen that St. Joseph um, has, provides for the church as well through his prayers and intercessions. So we can ask him to pray for us in the success of our endeavors. And so I stapled to the front of this um, a prayer called the Patris Cordi that the Knights of Columbus were passing out. Patris Cordi is Latin for heart of the Father. This prayer was written by Pope Francis. So just to conclude, we'll say this prayer together and um, ask St. Joseph to intercede for us for the success of our parish strategic plan. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son, in you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the creed.